Hello, Slicksters! This is Tia with X Lixum and X, and I want to thank you all for joining me for the eighth volume of Have Mercy. And y'all already know we are going to get into the wedding, and then we're going to switch back over to Mercy. We need to have her finish her classes, get in love. I mean, we have a lot that we need to focus on within this value. So I'm not going to make you all wait any longer. I'm going to shut the hell up and hit y'all with that intro. All right, Slicksters. y'all so i think we should just start with khalil and reese because we need to make sure that this wedding gets done and they have been taking forever in order to get this wedding done first things first we need to make sure we get inside and get their needs to what it should be because the last thing that i need during this wedding is some dying sims that's the last thing i need so it looks like khalil's needs are pretty good and Let's see how Reese's needs are doing. Oh, wow. Reese's needs are good, too. Okay. And, of course, we can't forget about our baby, Hibbit. Make sure he gets some food. All right. Fill the bowl. And, y'all, if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn I saw some shit on... Yeah, I'm not mistaken at all. Come on, Hibbit. We ain't got time for these kind of mistakes. We're trying to plan a wedding here, sir. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. Why you clocking mine, man? Yeah, uh, m my bad, my bad. It's just, who do you think is going to have to clean that up? You know Reese isn't up for it, so Khalil, that's your baby's uh pet, ain't it? You better clean it up. All right, so let's have him come inside and throw this away. Y'all, I know we are missing all of our furniture from the last party, but honestly, I'm sick of this same exact look in this house. I think the Have Mercy house is due for a good, 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 good makeover on the inside. So I think before we switch over to Mercy, we're going to give them a good makeover too because I'm sick of the same exact look. Like, I don't know about y'all, but after a while, I get sick of the same exact things. You know what I mean? It also tells me I can't even watch TV because the bills need to be paid. So let's get him to clean up that poop, and then we are going to go outside and pay the bills. And y'all, Khalil's all sad because the last holiday went bad. I mean, man, get over it. I mean, we all have bad holidays. These past few holidays have been hell. Y'all, I can't tell you how my here lately has been. Good Lord mercy. I had to sip my tea on that. <clears throat> Man, it's, it, it, mm, it's been something. Anyway, let's pay these bills. They're $2,381. That's not bad. This is a huge house. So great thing that Mercy keeps a whole stack on top of the washer and dryer. So all I got to do is click some. I ain't got to worry about, you know, ordering it and waiting for it to come. But this would be a great time to order some since she knows that both her and Mercy is in the house. That would be very thoughtful. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all! Pause. Y'all, Khalil is on fire. What the hell is you doing, Khalil? Oh my gosh. Reese, get your man off the fire. You sitting there standing there looking... She's standing there looking stupid. Okay, we are going to click Khalil and we're going to extinguish, okay? Y'all, is this a sign? Her wedding day? And a freaking fire starts on the on the lot. Like, come on, what's the chances? Help your man, girl. Help your man. <laughs> it's 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 it's. Oh my god! What are you doing? He's on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. Yeah, he's on fire, bitch. Girl, she running around. Khalil, you dead, baby. You dead. If you waiting for Reese, baby, you dead. Reese, where you at? Oh, gosh. I don't know if he's going to make it, y'all. I don't know if he's going to make it, y'all. Mercy about to have to bury her daddy. Oh, God. She going she gonna to hurt you, Reese. She going to hurt you, Reese. Y'all, at this point, Khalil is very tense. He made it, y'all, though. He made it. Reese was going to let him... 
Girl, you're not even married to him yet. I don't know why you're so willing to let him go. I don't know why you're so willing to let him go, sis. Anyway, when we look over in the corner, it says, Singed, covered head to toe in soup. Better wash this stuff off. And then we also have, Fire is out from the fire being extinguished. Thank goodness the fire is over. Could it have been any worse? So did she extinguish him? I did hear the... But I don't know if that was her extinguishing him or not. My, my game is so slow. Let me see if she has like a hero thing on her or something. Lifesaver. I'm sorry, Reese. I spoke too soon, baby. I spoke too soon. It says, saving another Sim's life brings on a surge of confidence. Okay, well, I'm proud of you, Reese. I apologize. My apologies. I judged you. I sure did. Y'all, Khalil is not feeling it. We might even have a wedding tonight if he don't get the chance to calm down. I am extremely stressed after that one. Us too. We are crazy stressed after that one. We thought we lost Khalil, y'all. We thought we lost Khalil. And obviously that shows me I need to get a fire alarm. Why do I have that there and I don't have no fire alarm? I need a fire alarm. All right, we got the pads in our inventory. We're gonna open the box. Unpack the box. All right, and with 14, we got more than enough where she could order some more. Y'all, we're having this wedding. I don't care how many bodily things they got going on or fears or close to deaths. This wedding is happening. It's happening. And I know it looks like we've been shown some bad signs. But, uh, what's love without a bad sign? What's love without a bad sign? All right, so we are going to go ahead and have her get her stuff together while he gets his stuff together. Also, you guys, we cannot forget that we need to dress them up for their wedding. We don't even have a wedding dress on her. We don't have a wedding suit on him. So we need to check all of that out, too. You know what? We might not make it tonight. Okay, if the wedding is not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. I'm trying, y'all. I'm, I'm really trying. Please work with me. Understand that I am really trying. I'm going to invite over Mercy because, like I said, the weddings, there is a lot going on. And I just want to keep things simple. I'm going to have the husband, the wife, and the one that, you know, constructs all of it. And I'm going to ask Mercy to be the one to stand up there, you know, and marry them off. Since that's the only person I'm using. So it might as well be Mercy. So dad's going to call her over and ask her about that. Now, that's a big question to Mercy. Now, she agreed to the flower girl, and she barely really wanted to do that, if you want to be honest. But let's just see what she says about all of this. All I know is that my wedding day has to go perfectly. It just has to. Hey, baby girl, what you doing? I need you to get over here. Yeah. Well, come on. I got some things I want to talk to you about. I'm sitting up waiting on you, okay? <laughs> Dad loves your kid. All right, well, that looks like a pleasant conversation between the two. But let's be honest, it's 11.30 at night. I don't know if Mercy's really coming. So let's just have them both use the bathroom. Oh, it says she's going to be right over. Okay. Well, if she comes this late, then, then I'm surprised. Dad got a hold on his daughter because it's 11.30 at night. Like, what could we possibly talk about? And it looks like Reese is going to be the one left to answer the door because Khalil's gone to the bathroom. I'm going to just stand outside for a minute. I'm going to see if she really come. I'm going to be surprised if she do. One eternity later. Yeah, like I said, y'all, I don't think she coming. So let's go upstairs. Let's get Khalil to sleep. And pretty soon, let's get Reese to sleep too. And tomorrow, we're going to focus on some more things. And it say Reese already downstairs sleeping. I want to know where she's sleeping. I know she's not sleeping in Mercy bed. Her and Mercy is not doing that good for her to be t sleeping in Mercy bed. Honey, she said, I know where my bed is. Let's see if she gets in the bed because sometimes they just sleep on top of the bed. And that is just so annoying. Like, okay, honey, she's not playing no games. She said, my wedding tomorrow. I need some rest. They both got a while to sleep. Maybe afternoon wedding. I don't know. At this point, y'all killing me. All right, y'all. It's the morning. Reese is up. Khalil went to work, but we're not worried about that. We're going to get her to take care of some of her needs, which is like using the bathroom, eating, all that good stuff. And then we're going to work on our makeover for this wedding. We need that dress and we need that suit. And while I'm down here making sure she gets something to eat for today, I'm going to go ahead and click on the oven. And I'm going to hire staff to come to the house and start making some dishes. And the reason I'm doing that is because, let's be real, Reese is not cooking for this wedding. 
We're going to do all we have to do to make sure she's not cooking for this wedding. She's not. We're not doing it. All right. So like I said, we downstairs and I'm going to go ahead and hire staff to come inside and cook some meals. Let's let them cook some meals while, you know, we get our outfits ready for the wedding. We prep ourselves. I'm thinking a night wedding tonight, probably like nine o'clock. And y'all, I don't know what has Reese so mad, but if we look over in the corner, she's saying this is the worst day ever from high maintenance trait. Like, girl, how is this the worst day ever? This is your wedding day. Honey, it is a privilege to be Mercy's stepmother, okay, sweetheart? It is a privilege. Reese can hear all that noise the cat's making, so she's going to go ahead and clean his bowl out, put some new food in there. I'm guessing that's what she's doing. I don't know. Oh, she's just cleaning it up. She needs to hurry up, honey. You're doing stuff I didn't even ask you to do. You're wasting time. It's 4 o'clock already. I had to go ahead and replace that. That was $291. I had to go ahead and replace that, um, I don't know what you call that little seat thing. Honey, I had to replace that. It was burnt. As long as we got Khalil, we can't replace that. Reese is going to go ahead and take her shower. Right after she takes her shower, I want her to plan the outfit for the wedding. Reese is out of the shower. I don't know why her attitude is so stink. Like, nobody has done anything to you today, ma'am. And it looks like Khalil's day is going just as bad. Ugh. Why is everyone having a horrible day? I mean, at this point, is the cook the only one having a decent day? I'm just happy to be here, baby. I mean, thank you, because somebody has to be happy to be here. It's 6.51, y'all, so at this point, right now, we're looking at an 11 o'clock wedding. I don't know. It's looking shorter and shorter in time. I do not have the time to waste. I need to stun on these hoes. Mm. Mm. Let them know you did not date an old woman, honey. This is young and nice. <laughs> and fat. Too fat. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. We can see she is straight up feeling herself. No shame in her game, honey. No shame in her game. So, Slicksters, while we have Reese in the mood to get her fashion on, why don't we go ahead and change into them wedding outfits? I'll see y'all there, Slicksters. Crazy and 
We have to move stupid super quick because we just got out of the change room and it's already 1030 and y'all know the latest that we will be able to have this party is at 11 o'clock. So we are going to go ahead and make sure that we plan her wedding event ahead of time. That way if 11 o'clock is the latest time we can have the wedding, we know we can still have it because it's set on the calendar. But we got to get this over with, y'all. I'm sick of every single day I'm saying the next day, the next day, the next day is the wedding. No, today should be the wedding. Today. All right, we're going to go right on down to the wedding ceremony. A wedding doesn't make a marriage, but it sure can help kick things off the right way. Exactly. And that's what we plan to do. Thank you. We're going to keep this wedding simple, y'all. Not a whole bunch of stuff we're going to plan to do with the wedding. Everything's super simple. All right, bride and groom. Of course, that's us. Now, y'all, I said I'm not going to do all of these semi honors, flower pail, ring bear, all them people because what's the point? I mean, I hate to say it like that, but really, what's the point, y'all? It's no point. When I tell y'all that that wedding package doesn't work the way it's supposed to, it really doesn't. And it makes the weddings actually a lot harder, you know? And you think you're going to walk down the aisle real beautifully. And then she's all swerved side to side. It's not like you think. So we're just going to go with the efficient. That's the only person that we really want is the efficient. And we didn't get the chance to ask Mercy to be the efficient. Because she didn't come to the house last night. So honestly, it's whoever we already had up here. Which is Aileen, his sister. So that actually works out quite well. Even though she doesn't have high hopes in this marriage. Okay, let's go ahead and invite our guests. All right, we're going to do both Arabella and Callie, which is Reese's sisters. Of course, Mercy. Wow, Reese and Mercy don't have much of a relationship at all. We got to work on that. We can invite over the pregnant chick. I mean, she came to the last few parties. Why not? Shauna, which is Mercy's ex-boyfriend's mom. We don't really have a lot of friends. Clifford, that's a good one. Demetrius, that's Reese's friend and Mercy's professor. Um, I don't know Madeline, but sure, she can come. I don't know Beckett, but sure, he can come. And Ernest, I know it's Demetrius' son. We don't know him, but sure, he can come. Okay, what are we going to be doing at our party? We're going to be dancing. Um, we're going to cut cake. We are going to exchange vows. And yeah, that's it. I want to keep it very simple wedding, like as simple as possible. I want things to work out. I really, really do. Okay. Outfits. We already on deck. We looking good. I wonder how Mercy is going to feel about us asking her to be the flower girl and then her not being it. It's not personal. It's just in between last episode and this one, I got to play with that a little bit. And I realized it's not easy. And we not doing all that complicated stuff. All right, so as far as where the wedding will be, I already picked out a place ahead of time, y'all, and... Go, go, to, your, go to your mom's phone. Yeah, Here. yeah see them? See, Here. Yeah. I already picked out a place ahead of time, y'all, and I'm super excited to have the wedding there. I did not make this place. I actually found it from the gallery and downloaded it. I do not remember who the person was that made it. My apologies. But I took their invention and I, you know, did my own little swig to it. So 11 o'clock p.m. is the wedding. Done. Y'all, we about to do this. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get her, though, to the computer so that we can make sure we have the wedding cake for tonight. All right. Let's go ahead and order more choices. Let's purchase a wedding cake. Oh, y'all, look at all these beautiful wedding cakes. There's a cupcake wedding cake display. Okay. You can get it in white and rainbow colors. You can get it in white and brown. Okay. There's floral wedding cakes. Oh, wow. Y'all, these are beautiful. I definitely not.
not gonna lie y'all i want to get one of the cupcake displays and i want to get more than one though why don't we also try the floral wedding cake all right so we're getting one of each and the cost is going to be 225 we got it so we're not worried about it y'all ah, ah, ah. we got our cakes before the wedding we got our cakes before the wedding and y'all guess what we don't even have to wait for her to get on the computer and order it it's already right here in our inventory if you look see our two beautiful wedding cakes i'm excited in the corner it says thanks for ordering the cakes reese purchased can be found in her inventory thank you thank you thank you okay and also y'all i want to come in this corner and i want to see exactly what the chef cooked for us and let's just pray and hope it's something good what is this garlic noodles mm, okay we can work with that it's only five hours before it goes bad though but we can work with that. We can work with garlic noodles. All right, so we got our garlic noodles in the inventory. And y'all, this party's about to start any time now. I'm excited. I'm excited. Y'all, we've we, we been waiting for this. Ain't y'all excited? Okay, Slickster, so I left the game and came back in. And when I came back in, time has went back to 829. We know that our wedding does not start until 11. So that gives us some play time, you know? Khalil wants to use his playtime and use the bathroom and go to sleep. While Reese, on the other hand, wants to talk to the cook. I'm guessing she wants to thank her for the dish she made. Even though, let's be honest, that dish is going to be rotten before the party even gets started. Miss Agatha, thank you so much for cooking. I don't know what I would have done if I had to worry about this wedding and worry about cooking. <laughs> Child, calm down. It's only your first wedding. Wait until you hit the third one. Wow, Miss Agatha. So that's how you get down. Y'all. <laughs> the wedding ceremony is starting soon. Are you all excited? Are you all excited? <laughs> As a young girl, I dreamt many nights of this day. Well, dream no longer, my dear. Dream no longer. The night is here. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. And there she is stumping in trash. No, we need to smell good for our party. What are you doing? Oh, and, and she's making us a new dish. Oh, don't, don't just leave the new dish. We were going to take that with us. Y'all, she is an old woman for sure. Do y'all see this? You're right. Let's not focus on her. Let's not focus on her. We have something more important to focus on. The wedding ceremony is about to begin. Are you ready to start? This will end any currently running events. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'm excited. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, Slicksters, we are here. And I want to tell y'all I'm quite disappointed because basically nobody's here of essence. The auntie isn't here so that she can exchange vows with us. Mercy isn't here. And does it surprise me, y'all? No, it doesn't. Because we already knew that the two of them weren't exactly accepting of our wedding. But they can kiss our bare ass. Because this is happening either way. Mercy, this is your show, sweetheart. But Reese isn't going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. So just get over it, sweetheart. Just get over it. As a matter of fact, out of appreciation of haters not coming if you don't want to be here, I'm going to give my man a kiss. Okay, and right after we kiss him, we're going to go over to the DJ stand and we're going to hire staff, which is going to be a DJ headliner. We want the best of the best, okay? It's bad enough, ain't nobody here, so we do need the best of the best. Let's get this party started, y'all. Let's get it started. This can't be everybody. I know they're going to come probably later. I know it's a late wedding, 11 o'clock wedding, but... You mean to tell me y'all didn't even have the heart to come? Like, come on. Just my sisters? These are my sisters. If Mercy doesn't show up, at least we know where her heart is. Aw, at least the two of them are okay. Is everybody here? No. 
but I couldn't be more happier just because I'm marrying you. I was so worried that you'd be upset, especially about your daughter not being here, but I'm so happy that you're happy. All right, y'all, this is supposed to be a happy moment. We're not supposed to be sitting here all sad and upset. Um, We're not really that close to Beckett, but we can definitely thank him for coming. We're gonna get Khalil inside and talking to some guests as well. Why doesn't he talk to Reese's sisters? Thank them for coming. Besides, it never hurts to get closer to family members. <gasps> you guys, I see more and more people showing up. <laughs> Y'all, we, we talked too soon. Okay, half of Mercy's behind is out, but we're just gonna ignore that. We talked too soon, y'all. Here goes Mercy, right here. And here goes Aunt Aileen. And we need to talk to both of them. We need to thank them for coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're so happy they made it. We're so happy they made it. Wow, Reese has never had an official introduction to Aunt Aileen. Mm. That might be a blessing. Everything isn't that hurtful, trust me. That might be a blessing. Aunt Aileen don't like her anyway. Just off of her age alone. She didn't even give her a chance. Okay, and we know dad is gonna wanna see Mercy, y'all. Mercy look like a baddie tonight, y'all. Mercy look like a whole baddie. I can't wait until we get back to Mercy. Ugh. All right, we're going to have Dad come over and talk to Mercy, too. We're just so happy that they made it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And right now, we're just mingling with everybody. We're just enjoying our party. Enjoying the people that showed up. Reese is about to go talk to Aunt Aileen. After Reese talks to Aunt Aileen, why don't we have her come over and talk to Mercy? I think that would be cool. Why is everyone headed upstairs? I have no idea. For real, for real, I don't even know if I wanna be here today. Totally feel like I'm backstabbing my mom. Not to mention everyone's smiling around like idiots. Today is a beautiful day. All right, and here we have it, y'all. Downstairs, Reese is talking to Aunt Aileen. Let's see how that's going. Aileen, I am beyond happy to see you here. <laughs> You scared me for a minute. I didn't know if you were going to make it. I scared myself. I didn't think I was going to make it either. But hey, what can you do? Love is love. I'm here. I just wish that she could come to terms with this and be more supportive of her brother. Like, how could you hate the idea of your brother finding the love of his life? Matter of fact, we need to have him and her talk a little bit too. All right. What else is going on around here? Everybody's hanging out by the door. All right, y'all. Here come Khalil and Mercy talking. Let's see what's up. Sweetheart, are you okay? You're upstairs by yourself. Don't tell me you're thinking of leaving. <sighs> I'm already so nervous. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not, Dad. I'm really enjoying myself. I can't wait to see you guys walk the aisle. I don't think it's healthy that Mercy is just going to sit there and lie to her dad and make it seem like she's okay with everything. When she knows she's not, this could turn out bad. And when I say bad, I mean this could turn out really bad. Why the hell is she over there still smiling? It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Okay, y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. After a while, Mercy going to go upside her head if she don't slow it down a little bit. All right, so I think it's about time, y'all, that we jazz everybody up and we meet up for the wedding. I don't know why he is sitting there because you are not. <gasps> Did you cut my cake? Bastard. He cut our cake, y'all. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Okay, things are starting to go a little left. Things are starting to go a little left. All right. Looks like Reese is upstairs on her way to speak to Mercy. Whew, it's chilly in here. Hey, Mercy, I was hoping to have a talk with you, you know, before walking the aisle. Look, it's really best that we not talk, okay? Let's just cut their conversation off because if not, Mercy is going to mess up Reese's wedding day, and we can't have that. We cannot have that. We love Mercy, but we can't have her do that. Not today. Okay, so let's go over to the aisle. Ceremony activities. And we are going to have all the guests please take your seats. While they're gathering, we have to get Reese to the bathroom, y'all. Like, she has to go, 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 go. Everybody's on their way to come sit. 
Reese needs to use the bathroom because everybody is on their way gathering <laughs> to sit at the seats and watch Reese go down the aisle. And I think our DJ just showed up as well. I think that's the message we just got. Let's see what it says. A service sim hired by Khalil Yang is on their way. Okay, great. All right, everybody's taking their seats. It looks like Aunt Aileen already knows where we need her to be for the wedding. Let's have her keep standing there. Come on, Reese. Everybody's waiting on you. I need you to use the bathroom and get out here. Okay, we are now going to exchange vows. We are going to exchange vows with the efficient and a kiss. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. We got to walk down the aisle first. Okay, let's pause because everyone is not in their seats. Didn't I tell y'all this thing like messes up? Like, why are you sitting? Look, y'all, all these seats, and instead of sitting in seats, they're sitting in my in my walking aisle. Like, y'all are going to mess up her walk, even if she wanted to make a walk. Guys, I am not walking down the aisle, and I'm so upset. Like, even Reese is upset about not walking down this aisle. What the hell? I only get one day. One day. Reese is not feeling that. Like, why are y'all sitting in her walking aisle? All them seats. All these seats. Y'all look at all these seats. It's a ton of seats. What is the point in sitting in the aisle? <laughs> There's always a point. Mercy, you're evil. You're just evil. You're just evil. You don't have to do that to this girl's wedding day. You're just evil, Mercy, sometimes. Okay, let's... let's Okay, now let's go ahead and exchange the vows with the efficient and we're going to have a nice kiss. Y'all, this is going to be so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this. All right, y'all, they're headed over. Oh my gosh, Khalil is so much shorter than her, but who cares? This is the cutest little love story, y'all. <laughs> I might cry just a little bit. Do you all vow to love each other forever and to forever be the center of one another's hearts? Do you take this vow? <coughs> <coughs> yes, Lord, I take this vow. I vow to give you all that my heart can ever afford to give. I love you, Khalil. I do. And y'all, just like that, <laughs> The moment is happening. When I looked into your warm, beautiful brown eyes for the first time, I knew, just as the good book said, I had found my great thing. <laughs> I vowed to never run astray from you and to always stick by your side. <laughs> this is all I've prayed for. Come on, God. I can't come to accept this. Just give me a little bit of strike of lightning or something. Just a zzz. Oh, y'all, my heart. Aunt Aileen is so fake. Y'all see her back there breaking down? She is she is fake as hell. She is so fake. Okay, y'all, we are officially married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It is officially Reese Yang. I'm going to change that, y'all. It don't say it, but you best believe I'm going to change it. Reese Yang. She worked hard for that name, honey. She worked real hard for that name. All right, y'all. We just got done walking the aisle. I think we should call everybody over. Over into the dining hall. And let everybody know that it is time to eat. It is time to dance. Whatever y'all in the mood for. All right, y'all. I just switched the two cakes around. I'm so glad I got two of them. Right here, we got the cake that they cut all into already. And... Right here, we have the cake not cut yet. That's the brown and white cake with the cupcakes. Can we take a second and just be like in awe of these cakes? Like, they're so beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this cake now and let's cut the cake with Khalil. We're trying to finish all of these, y'all, before we run out of time, if we can. So, let's see if we can make it happen. Reese, go cut that cake with your man. Go cut that cake with your man. Go cut that cake with your man. Oh, wow. And now y'all want to go sit. Now y'all think it's time for y'all to go sit. Man, get out of here. I want the crowd to follow us so that they don't miss us cutting our cake. So I'm going to come right here. 
And why don't we call them here to dance? That way we get our dancing and our cake cutting done at the same time. The right ones will stop and watch us cut the cake. We're not worried about it. All right, y'all hear that music bumping? All right, so Reese is standing here. She's she just waiting for Khalil so that they can cut the cake together. Everybody then came in dancing. Where is Khalil? Khalil, where you at? We trying to cut this cake. All right, y'all, we cutting the cake. Ah! <laughs> Aww. Oh my gosh, everybody running into their face while they cutting the cake together. I can't even get a clear vision of it. All right, everybody's eating cake now, so I guess it's no big deal. We got the dance, we got to walk the aisle. We got everything we needed done in this wedding. Y'all look in the corner. This wedding was a success. How does it taste, babe? It tastes good, but not half as good as being with you for the rest of my life is gonna taste. <laughs> He's just the sweetest. Uh, like, I just love them two together. Like, they the cutest. If you don't think so, I don't know what's wrong with you. Reese, you need to come over here and sit with your man. And y'all, the wedding is over. Everybody's leaving. And I was going to tell Reese to come over and sit with Khalil at the wedding, but the wedding's over. So why don't she take this opportunity to have a few words with Mercy and see how she's feeling after everything. Let's just thank her for coming. Mercy, I know how hard it is welcoming a new woman into your family. I just want to thank you for coming tonight. I wouldn't have missed it. You know, my dad was getting married today as well. <laughs> Mercy, I'm aware. Overall, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You know what, y'all? Let's just admit it. Their relationship is not going to be fixed overnight. It's just not. And everybody's gone, y'all, but we still pay for this DJ. So I said we take advantage of it a little bit. Okay, y'all, Khalil got the moves. Khalil got the moves. Huh? Huh? Khalil got the moves. Oh, he ain't got as many moves as Reese. Reese says she likes dancing. Dancing is in her bones. Yes. Let's agree. You do. Okay, honey. It ain't that serious. Did you just. Did you just piss on the floor and then fall? Yes. That's exactly what that is. Gordon's mom should be ashamed of herself. She just pissed on the floor and fell. That's how I know it's time for us to go. It's definitely time for us to go. As you all can see, Reese is just as tired as I am after all of this. So we're going to go ahead and say our goodbyes. I know that we were in high hopes of getting back to Mercy, but certainly within the next volume, we're right back on track with Mercy. If you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I obviously enjoyed making it for you all. Will you please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, Slicksters.